good morning good afternoon good evening welcome to my youtube channel my name is Ogbanje Joseph please like and share this video and um, please also subscribe to this video as well today we are going to be looking at foreign policy the concept of foreign policy so as a usual practice I'm going to do a word attack on this um, very concept okay so the first thing we're going to be looking at is the concept of foreign foreign so when someone says this thing is foreign what does it mean the word foreign simply means anything outside outside of or not from okay so in international relations or in foreign policy we can say that foreign is anything outside of a country or involving other actors in the international system so it could be language that is not spoken in one's own country as may be recognized by the people or authorities it also it may also mean an office belonging to a country though situated in another country such as an embassy or a consulate okay it may also refer to an object that entered into something which by design should not be there okay so for example a parasite or in an animal okay that was not part of the biological formation of that animal okay so now therefore foreign policy sorry the word foreign okay to a particular state is what is not original or part of that state or any others you know or anything outside the state so when we talk about foreign we're talking about something that is not local to a country something that is outside something that you know that is not part and parcel of the people's culture and tradition so when it is actually coming from outside or happening outside or it's not part and parcel of them you can refer to it as foreign okay now let us look at policy now policy what is policy policy can be defined as an action plan or a blueprint or a framework okay now it may also mean a rationally designed or planned course of action that shapes guide and direct behavior so it could be personal policy business or you know business policy or government policy okay so in international relations a policy is a formally articulated principle that guides states behavior in the international system uh, in the international system so the most static or static you know policy in the international system is the promotion and protection of national interest in dealing with the outside world okay so that is actually what is known that is actually what is known as a policy that is actually what is known as policy now let's look at the concept of foreign policy the concept of foreign policy so having looked at foreign having also looked at policy now let us bring both of them together what is the concept of foreign policy now foreign policy of a state can be defined as the expression of its national interests as well as the means and strategies through which such a state can actualize that national interest and several scholars have actually defined you know what foreign policy is all about but one thing we must know very quickly is that each state desires to actually have some kind of relations or dealings with other states and actors in the international system okay so as to protect promote you know protect and promote its national interest in the best possible way okay 
in the best possible ways okay so there are several scholars that have defined foreign policy but let us look at you know the one that has been handed down by gibson gibson sees foreign policy as a well-rounded comprehensive plan based on knowledge and experience for conducting the business of the government with the rest of the world he also maintains that he also maintains that foreign policy is aimed at promoting the interest of the state in question okay so another scholar that we're going to be looking at is crab 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 looks at foreign policy as consisting of two elements that is national objectives to to be achieved and the means of achieving them so the interaction between national goals and resources for attaining them is the personal objective of statecraft so in its ingredients the foreign policy of all nations great or be uh, great or small is the same and why is it the same it is the same in the sense that they are looking for how they can actually achieve their national interests their national interests so we are going to still come back you know to conceptualize the meaning of national interest but before we go into that okay let us look at isa 1991's definitions you know definitions of what of foreign policy isa defines foreign policy as a co co coordinated strategy designed by policymakers of a state in order to manipulate the international system to protect her national interest now another person called miller defines foreign policy as a presumably so as presumably something less than the sum of all policies which have an effect upon a national government so in essence foreign policy is a strategically formulated course of action developed by a state you know to guide and direct her interactions with other other members of the international community which is simultaneously aimed at promoting and protecting you know the national interest at any given time so one thing one thing has been a denominator here and what has been that denominator the denominator here is that that foreign policy is a course of action developed by states okay developed by states and it is this policy that direct her interactions with other members of the international community okay that is one leg of it the other leg of it is that the foreign policy is aimed at promoting and protecting the national interest of the country that are actually formulating it okay so when we talk about national interest we are actually looking at Let's even demystify that national interest. But before we even come to that, it is actually very important for us to also know that according to Galadima and Dalaji 2017, that foreign policy is a decisive course of action which determines at given time relationship policies and actions of one state with or toward other states and international entities so we can go on and on and on and on you know to keep talking about the concept of foreign policy but you know to simply put to simply couch it the foreign policy of a state okay is the attitude you know is a state's attitude or official policies towards area or events outside of the state outside of the state okay so those are the things but professor not edge edges definition is actually very apt okay he looks at foreign policy okay as an interaction between the outside and the inside that foreign policy is an interaction between the outside 
and the inside okay so now let us look at the factors that determines foreign policy of a nation what are the factors that de determine foreign policies foreign policy of a nation we have two broad factors the first is the internal factors the second is the external factors now what are the internal factors that determine a nation's foreign policy the internal factors are those internal milieus that actually affect a nation's interaction with the outside world what are these things number one is the economy of a nation now how very buoyant the economy is how strong or how weak the economy is can determine a nation's interaction with other nations of the world okay so if america for example does not is not economically powerful it cannot claim or it cannot actually act the way it is acting as the world police today okay so that is the economy number two is the population population that we talk about here is actually the demography demography okay now if you have the population the working population okay of between 8 18 to 60 as more than the dependent population of between 1 0 to 18 and then 60 and above then you have a very viral population very very active population and it's a plus to a nation's foreign policy okay that's number two number three geography we're talking about the topography and the hydrology of a nation now when we talk about geography we're talking about the climate the climatic condition of a people okay of a territory if the climate is actually the one that is very amenable to people's you know inhabitation you find out that everybody want to come to your country because the weather condition is actually very friendly that's actually you know another point what talk, the next one is technology mm, the level of technological advancement you know we talk about japan today we talk about the western world it is because of their technology okay people are actually endeared to the other states are endeared to them because even the asian tigers you know the evolving developing countries okay you find out that people are attracted to them because of their technology okay so we also talk about other factors just like the strength of the military okay and several other factors bureaucracy you know um i've actually mentioned population okay so those are the things then we also have in internal crisis we have internal crisis we have um okay we have um internal crisis we have uh, fundamental human rights and all of that okay so those are the internal factors that affect um foreign policy of a nation what are the external factors external factors are those things that affect a nation's foreign policy you know from abroad from abroad from without okay and what are those factors we have membership of international organization a nation's membership of a of an international organization can actually affect her foreign policy okay because of course once you become a member of international organization or multilateral institution you become a signatory to such institution and so it affects okay your it affects the way you actually formulate your policies okay your policies because your pol any policy you formulate must be in line with the treaty and the convention or the agreement that you have actually signed with that with other countries within that international organization then we also talk about foreign loans and aids okay is also a factor that affect external factor that affects a nation's foreign policy okay then we also talk about you know uh global terrorism 
global terrorism is also another external factor that affect a nation's foreign policy okay then we also have colonialism for the third world countries that actually experienced colonialism colonialism is also another external factor that affects you know a nation's foreign policy and some other factors thank you very much